The Lord says, Come out and receive only that which comes from heaven. Trumpet call of God. Receive that which is seasoned with salt and flavored with honey. September 4th, 2006 From Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior. The word of the Lord spoken to Timothy, for Timothy and his wife, and for all those who have ears to hear. Beloved, write these words and receive of my blessing, says the Lord. For I have indeed blessed you and your wife, and will yet bring upon you another blessing, in accordance with my will. For you have willingly eaten that which is heavily seasoned with salt, even of its bitterness you have fully accepted. Yet those against me will not eat, neither will they partake of that which I have offered them. For they want no part with me, as I truly am, nor will they drink from my cup. Therefore, my beloved servants, you are the first of my little flock, and have bore much fruit. Thus you will also bear the weight of much persecution. And because you are the first and have stood firm for my name's sake, you shall also bear the brunt of evil things, which shall come forth and fight against you. Indeed, you shall be accused by those of this world of subversion and hate, and labeled as false, by those who claim to serve me, yet remain void of the Spirit. A continual hissing brought forth from this most rebellious and ungodly generation. So then, Timothy, my prophet, and you, my beloved scribe, trust in my ways and do all I command you. Take now one-tenth of an ephah of cornmeal, that's about one and a half kilograms, and mix it with water, season it with salt, add flax, and flavor it also with honey. Bake it into cakes, and eat one cake for each meal, and give thanks. Do this for one week, as a cleansing, and as a testament in your own bodies. For the yoke of bitterness is upon you, and your faith shall be tested. Yet what I shall give you will be sweet in your mouth like honey, and once ingested it shall cause a heaviness, a purging of all impurities, to the allaying of every doubt. Therefore take up a fast also from all that is impure and filled with sugar. For this is also a metaphor and a testament against the world. For the things of this world do indeed seem sweet at the first, and are presented in a manner which seems nourishing. Yet I tell you the truth, they are poison and lead to death. For the thoughts of man are from below, earthly, fleshly. All his works are evil, away heavy laden with sin. Therefore avoid the things of this world, walk free, and be separate from those on the wide path. Come out from among them, and receive only that which comes down from heaven. So then, my beloved servants, hear and understand, as you, Timothy, must endure, so in like manner must your wife endure, yet her time shall be cut short. I am the Lord. Therefore, to your wife, salt and honey, then the blessing, and to you, my son, 
first salt and honey, then great bitterness and great glory, before the blessing returns. In this find wisdom, for all I have spoken shall surely come to pass during the times and seasons which the Father has set within his own authority. And most assuredly, I say to you, the season is upon you. Therefore, as you do in your body, likewise shall I do in the world, and among those who claim to be of my body, even as one of you shall endure one week, and one of you two. For great want is coming, yet for you the blessing, from which you shall take and eat and share with all those to whom I send you. I am the Lord.